the role of the cinematographer is so different than what I really thought it would be when I was starting out. When I was starting out, I was really idealistic that I would be able to create these unbelievable images in every film I did, that I would be able to have a signature style. Well, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you have Sometimes you just want to tell the story without being obtrusive. And, uh, you know, there's that film school syndrome of just being so stylized that you're brought out of the film uh, and hit over the head with the style. And I don't want it to be like that. I want to blend uh, with, you know, seamlessly with the material. But mainly the role I have played as a cinematographer uh, is different than what I expected, in part because it's so much about management of people. Uh, and my psychology degree, and I used to laugh about this, but it really comes in handy. Um, I gave a seminar to film students uh, in Europe last year at uh, Camera Image in Poland from all over. And, uh, you know, they asked me what is different now uh, as a cinematographer now that I've been doing it for so long. And I'd say that 20% of my job is shooting the movie and the other 80% is dealing with my three departments, camera grip, electric, dealing with, of course, the director and the AD and making sure things run, dealing with wardrobe, making sure that, you know, the whites are teched and that there aren't any colors that don't re relate well to the stock, you know, just dealing with that and, and certainly dealing with the producers and making sure that I'm on time, on budget. So uh, it's really a people management job, which is amazing to me. Uh, and hopefully you still have a lot of time left for making the film as beautiful as you can make it.